How you doing? This is Doc Rotten from Horror News Radio and Gruesome Magazine. Joining me today is the one and only Christopher G. Moore. He is here to talk with us about the film The Transfiguration from director Michael O'Shea, starring Eric Ruffin, Chloe Levine, and Jelly Bean. Uh, Christopher, how you doing, sir? Doing great, doing great. I'm glad to be on here to talk about this wonderful film. Wonderful film. Oh, well, that's good to hear. First, uh, tell us a little about, about what the uh, what the film is about. It's basically about this young boy uh, who basically is obsessed with vampires and vampirism, and and he, you know, believes that he could be a vampire, and you sort of figure out towards the end of the film if he is or not. Ooh, okay. That sounds interesting. A coming of age story with teeth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's 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 definitely a definitely a very hard film to categorize. I think to some degree, based on just a lot of the really interesting personal relationships and stuff that they tell, uh, you know, throughout the film. Well, well, you hinted as you joined in that you really liked it. So uh, tell us a little bit more about that. What what is special about the Transfiguration? Well, it, it, the thing is, it starts off and you, you're kind of wondering, OK, what's going on? It, you know, is this going to be like, you know, uh, like some of these sort of gritty vampire type films? And then it turns into a really interesting thing where you have this young kid who's definitely a little bit off in the mind and he's trying to sort of grasp onto who he is as a person and dealing with these sort of like thoughts of, uh, you know, they mentioned like he's in therapy for like hurting animals or watching animals being hurt. And so like you're sort of trying to understand who this is. And at the same time, you know, he's, he's been dealing with the death of his mom and, you know, dealing with his brother who's, you know, a little bit off. And then also this sort of new tenant, this new uh, girl who moves into the building, uh, who he sort of starts a relationship with. So it's, it's a really interesting, it's actually a very good, interesting thing in the relationship and the whole sort of, vampirism killing thing sort of plays into it. But it, to me, it's the more interesting thing was just learning the evolution of his character and, you know, the relationships, that he, how he's very socially, you know, uh, ostracized and he's, and he's, he doesn't really talk a lot to people and he's got dealing with all these people who bully him and he puts up with it, you know, but at the same time he has this sort of like really weird, thing inside of him that you know you get to learn more about as it goes along so i take it the star eric ruffin who uh, plays the lead uh is he a strong uh actor for this film i, I think he's brilliant he he uh, he actually reminds me a little bit of the the guy from get out uh daniel kalua um he almost feels like a young version of of him uh and he really plays it really well because he, he sort of plays that sort of despondent young kid and and uh, you can sort of see he's not really used to certain social situations or, or he's used to sort of running away from things. And but at the same time, there are certain situations where he you know goes, you know, face forward into stuff. And so I think he's really plays it really well. And I think playing off of the, the young actress in there, Chloe Levine, um, who plays Sophie. I think she's great too, you know, playing that sort of uh, tortured young girl who deals with all these guys in her life that sort of take advantage of her. And you have this one guy, you know, who doesn't, you know, he doesn't really want to hurt her and wants to take care of her and stuff. And so it's a really sort of sweet sort of love relationship that sort of plays out throughout the film. And it would also be recommended for horror fans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it, you know, we're, we're sort of talking about this film, or at least I'm talking about this film to where it seems like, you know, it's a sort of, you know, a teenage romance. But no, 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 there's 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 some killing. There's some blood drinking. There's definitely uh, there's there's a scene that's very traumatic to watch if you don't like kids being killed. So. Uh, so yeah, I think it's definitely has that horror aspect of it. Cause it almost, it almost feels like if you mixed, if you had like a young Henry portrait of a serial killer mixed with, you know, vampire's kiss or something, you know, to where you have somebody who's trying to come to grasp if uh, he's obsessed with vampires, but he's trying to figure out, you know, 
he pretty much thinks he's a vampire type thing or is he a vampire and 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 as it plays along you sort of and you sort of see that and i think the the way it ends is brilliant you know it ends perfectly to how it from from how it starts and and how it ends excellent uh, uh as we wrap this up what is your favorite scene I mean, there's a lot of great scenes. The cinematography in this film is it's really well done. I mean, and a lot of it's done almost like almost like, you know, these omnipresent observers and that kind of stuff. There's a lot of really nice wide shots of the scenery. And and but I think my favorite shot is where him and uh, Sophie, you know, after a day of spending at the local uh, fair on the dock or whatever they they go underneath a a, uh, a pier and they're like drinking together and i think that is such a beautiful shot scene and then also there's a scene where he's sort of like he's having to sort of not give in to his urges as a killer and and imagines that you know what it would be like if he killed her there and so i think that scene going from sweetness to sort of deadly sort of just shows it's just a really brilliant scene i think Excellent. And what is your score for Transfiguration? I, I was really surprised with this. I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to like it uh, just based on what I read about it. But I I give it a five out of five. I really, really enjoy this film. This, this is one of the uh, one of the best films I've seen in a while, uh, especially on the indie level. Oh, wow. Sounds like it might be on your uh, top uh, ten of the year list. Oh, it, it definitely will be. Definitely will be. All right. Well, Christopher, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, be sure to head over to gruesomemagazine.com to check out uh, more reviews similar to like this and also the Horror News Radio podcast and the Decades of Horror podcast. And, of course, the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, which is available in digital format and print format. All right, Christopher, let's say goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs>